man welcome back man another day and another video today man we've been working on the money like crazy trying to clean up some of this damn dirt man because this thing was sitting in the field and it's just like man we can't have it as you can see my neighbors is getting a yard cut so mind the uh don't mind the uh lawnmower noise and all the craziness back there which as you can tell for some reason man they like i said all of them everybody around me they keep their yard manicured by these lawn services i ain't into that i'm a grown man i cut my own damn grass but anyway back to this video uh yeah i was able to get the car in and we've been working on just trying to get up all of this damn dirt and rust man let me show y'all what i'm talking about of what we got going on today so i've been working on the suspension on the rear we did the red calipers man and i've been cleaning up the frame and just trying to get all this this dirt and just craziness out of here man uh, that's just one fender right there man i still got to get a lot of it out but it's just crazy right now because it's just everywhere and another thing in that comment section below i'm trying to figure out if anybody with a g-body can you go 24s on a g-body without a frame notch i know you have some rubbing issues right here but i know i've seen some people with a 24 by 9 and they say with a 24 by 9 you don't have to do anything to that but it's the 24 by 10s that you have a frame notching, which I ain't trying to get into all of that. But anyway, we had some stuff show up today. So we can get started on, like I said, we're doing shocks on it. Here are the Monroe specs. I had to buy a tool kit, man, because for some reason, this car uses standard sizes and everything now is metric. So it's just, it's crazy with this car, but got the old shocks in the rear off crazy pile of dirt let me show y'all man look how i mean it's just it's nuts under here i was under here and then I almost died got mud dauber nest everywhere i was wondering where they were coming from so next after we get since we got the new shocks on we're gonna have to clean up all these mud dauber nests get those out of here and uh i don't think i'll put new coils on it man it's just a spring of metal i'm not gonna do as much Suspension wise, as I've done to the caddy, I think I am gonna change these uh, leading and trailing arms out on it, get those trains out. I know these bushings right here are stamped into that diff housing, so we ain't gonna do that. But yeah, we definitely got a lot to clean up, and I know it on this rear axle. I'm just gonna use that rust encapsulator. I ain't gonna rattle can it, that's just too much work. So we just gonna paint brush it on, sand it down, paint brush it. This, we are gonna pull off the sway bar. Get it shot with that pretty coat of red, make it look good. Then crawl out my there. Don't you? Like I said, man, it's money just a project. It's coming along. I also picked out the 24s we're gonna stick on here. Y'all gotta wait for them because right now, like I said, the main focus is getting this motor out, getting it going, getting the interior out, getting that. So I came up with the plan for this car. And y'all gotta stick with me, which I think is a dope, dope idea because I don't really like going overboard with my car, as you can tell with the Caddy. It's just plain and simple. You know, nice driving car, ran through everything. Monte Carlo is gonna be a little bit more, you know, it's getting a brand new Crate 350. We're gonna go through that and we're gonna paint it pearl white with the red Monte stripes, red Monte stickers, everything. Just keep it OG to 85. Only thing is the paint's gonna have that pearl in it. So that's what we're gonna do to that. But also, man, I got these. Let me walk in the house. Don't worry about no Chevy Bolt EV. But we got headers came in today. Uh, got to mention we went ahead and ordered the hooker. Got the hooker long tubes for. I think they're one and a half inch with a three inch collector. So that should make a little nice little throwy sound. Like I said, man, with the this car is definitely gonna look like it's gonna sound like it's gonna go somewhere, but it ain't gonna run nowhere. It's just gonna be a nice little little cruiser, mainly for my wife to follow me in when we go to shows. She can drive the money. I'm gonna take the caddy because you know, just like my 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 channel name, I ride with the caddies, man. You see the big Cadillac sign on the wall. It's Cadillacs over everything, but I've always wanted a big G body, so I grabbed me one. Glad y'all sticking with me on this build, man. We reached 115 subscribers, man. Thanks everybody, man. 
Like I said, I never thought I would get any subscribers on YouTube. I just do this for fun because I like doing it. It's something to do. But, yeah, thank you all again, man. Check out the rears. We still haven't put the fronts on because I'm having a problem getting them off. God dang, that's loud. But, anyway, since my neighbor decided to uh, cut their grass and all that other jazz, I'm going to end this video off. Thank you all for watching. Another money update, man. Like, comment, subscribe.